see you look today it's about 7:30 in the evening and i'm actually making some um, noodles for my boys um there you go i'm actually cooking the noodles just uh, i had to cook it in two batches because the first batch was not enough so i thought i, I had to add some more so what i'm just doing is i'm just cooking it like for 5 minutes in boiling water and taking out the fishing out the noodles like this there so now after i took off the uh, the noodles i'm just cooking my eggs like this with a drop in egg drop in eggs right so i like to do my eggs like this so much easier when the um, water is already boiled so i'm just going to go ahead and put some salt into this so that the eggs have a uh, some amount of salt so <clears throat> there are three eggs in this because we are three people today so i'm going to wait for it to cook nicely and then remove them and today in my noodles um, because this is like a one plate uh, serving only um i am actually uh, going to add like a lot of vegetables uh, into this guys today so you will see like the amount of vegetables that i'm going to add and this noodle is for two times I, i believe i made it for tomorrow for lunch also so i'm going to be using only a little bit from this and then um, rest of that is going to be for tomorrow and i'm going to add a lot of vegetables as i said so and then i'm also going to show you a sauce that i'm going to prepare there you go guys i think my eggs are almost done So look at this guys so this is the amount of um, uh, frozen vegetable that I'm going to add to this uh this much noodles so I'm going to be adding this much frozen vegetables so once you thaw this frozen vegetable it's going to reduce so let me go ahead and show you Let me switch up the sink. Let me go ahead and show you the brand of this uh, okay, frozen vegetables. There you go, guys. This is the brand that I bought. So I love this one. This is really good. So I'm actually planning to use this on a very regular <coughs> basis because we need a lot of um, uh, vegetables consumption. Our family has not been doing that so far. So I am actually going to start bringing this a lot. So there you go guys. After I defrosted my uh, frozen vegetables, this is how it looks like now. So you can see that it has enormously reduced in quantity but no uh, not really that much. So this is how like you know I would recommend you to make your noodles if at all you are making noodles because you need a lot of uh, vegetables and proteins. and for proteins i'm adding uh, those egg the eggs that i actually filtered out from the water and i have kept it here the sauce for our noodles so this is actually roasted peanuts i'm going to take about a handful this is going to act as proteins for your uh, noodles right so about two handful of uh, uh, peanut and then about a small it's not exactly half but a smaller piece of half and i'm just going to squeeze a little bit don't squeeze too much because we don't want it to be too tangy and you can add uh, according to your taste and then this is some sriracha sauce or radish sauce according to your taste you can add and a lot of people actually add uh, sugar into this i'm actually trying out this one today <laughs> so you can you may be finding me a little bit uh, stupid or funny but orange marmalade i'm going to add about a spoon of this and soy sauce of course and uh, about according to your taste go ahead and add and so go ahead and give these things a mix So and then I'm going to add a little bit of sesame oil of course you can use any brand um 
and then i also as i said i am a very big fan of sesame seeds so go ahead and add a whole bunch of um, sesame seeds there and then now make this into a kind of a powder or whatever you like it and then i have to add this one too so so there you go guys i just took about a spoon like a almost like a tablespoon and just give all of this a nice stir okay also uh, for garnishing i'm actually going to add a, a this ginger chop the ginger and a little bit of garlic and some onions so so that it gives a good taste so there you go guys it, most of the preparation is ready and let's go and start frying it now and go ahead and add uh, some chili powder if you like uh, in your dish so just about a little bit of taste and then give it a stir And here you can see that I have already heating up the pan. So make sure you use some sort of a sesame seed oil for frying. There. So there you go, guys. The heat oil is really heated up nicely, and this is my ginger and garlic. So adding the stuff. So. <laughs> Today is like my kitchen has been a little bit messy. I'm doing it in a really messy fashion, so I really want you to like excuse my kitchen and my method of making today. So, anyways, so go ahead and give that a stir, and then one by one, just start adding all your ingredients like your uh, your veggies. Right, just putting away this pan is not going to be enough, but so there you go. I had to change my pan because it wasn't enough. Uh, so, there that looks really good actually. And now I'm actually going to go ahead, heat your put your flame on high, and add these noodles into this. So what I did was I just sprinkled some water because the noodles were sticking together and right away immediately they just uh, came apart like that. So now go ahead and uh, give that a stir and uh, don't forget to add salt. So go ahead and add that also into that. There you go guys, I just added the ground peanut into that. Right, it's looking already so, looking so great actually. Looks yummy. Um, now, give it a stir. Like let all the water actually evaporate. So as you can see that even though we added so much vegetables at the end, it actually looks not that much. Always try to eat uh, a whole lot of vegetables because as a diabetic or even as a if you're obese, those are something you need to keep in mind. Always. Um, more vegetables, more a little bit extra protein than carbs is always suggested. There you go, and um, it looks good so far to me. So I don't want to overcook my uh, noodles. So at this point, go ahead and uh, add your prepared uh, sauce. And then give it a stir.
just another two minutes of stirring looks good almost looks like a restaurant uh, style noodles to me today even smells also really awesome today so I'm gonna go and uh, give this a try and I'm gonna put all my comments in the review section so that you can watch and uh, see how it tasted what were me my feedback for my cooking was so and then you know that way you can always like if my recipe didn't turn out well I would have frankly I would have uh, mentioned that in my review of this uh, YouTube video so you can always go and uh, look it up there and I always will tell if if it was good I'll tell it was good if it was bad I'll tell it was bad so that you can follow some other recipe so there you go so my noodles are looking good so let's go ahead and switch off the stove so let's go ahead and see how our plating is going to be like And then on top or on the side some of the so like so bring it forward Abhi or a little bit down just go down go down go down yeah there you go guys that's the uh, plating how it looks I hope you enjoy this too so if you want you can sprinkle some crushed peppers for more sp extra spiciness thank you for watching there you go guys, um, this is another plate for my other son and uh, I went ahead and put this extra sauce in case if they want extra sauce so I just put it on the side. So there you go my diabetic meal planning. Thank you for watching.